Hey Collective, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-weekly channel reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So let me tell you guys something, okay? I literally was doing you all's reading. And at the 28 minute mark, the reading completely cut off. And I was thinking like, okay, maybe I should just finish it and then go ahead and add, see how I can add on the, the remainder of the reading. But something told me just, no, don't do it. Just do a completely different reading. So this is the second time that I'm doing you guys reading today. And I already know it has something to do with this. Okay. Cause this was your top row. You guys know for the collective readings, I always get the sun and the moon. And with the sun, this is the cards that came out around you guys. I'm not joking. So you have the judgment card and we are currently in Libra season. So something definitely is meant to go down in Libra season. But whatever, this, it, it has to do with a major decision. Whatever the decision is, you are making the right decision. You're making a good judgment call. Whenever you get the justice and judgment together, if you think about it, those go hand in hand. If you want justice, there needs to be a judgment that assesses whether something is fair or true or something is happening appropriately or some type of... Um, the resolute, if there's a proper resolution or if there's proper conclusion to a situation, that this is a very powerful alignment here. Very powerful alignment. And you guys definitely have the universe on your side supporting you. You also had the chariot, and that's Cancerian energy. So something could have happened in Cancer season that's getting ready to play out now during this time frame. Again, Libra season. Or you could be a Cancer or there could be a Cancerian, someone rising or a Venus individual involved. Also Mars. And I'm going to say Mars as well because I'm going to tell you, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the message I got was they know you're fed up and they're afraid of losing you. And this applies to both love and work. I feel like when it comes to a, a place of employment, you are fed up. I feel like you guys are being dumped on. You're getting more work than you actually are supposed to be doing. Some of you all are doing things that are not even in your job description. Okay, I'm getting that also. And they know that you're fed up. You're, you're like, I'm ready to go. I got to balance these scales because this is not making me happy. Okay, um... And then also as far as love, some of you guys could definitely be married to this person or engaged to this person or you are, you know, there was talks of marriage and long-term commitment. But some of you guys are going to make a decision, okay? Because this judgment is definitely giving me decision-making. Some of you guys are going to make a decision to leave that situation or give this person, I won't say an ultimatum, but you're going to let this person know how you feel about it and if they're not willing to change and not just talk about it, actually be about it and show it. If they're not going to change, I feel like you guys are like, you know what? I, I got to go. That's what I'm getting overall. Now, the song that I channeled when I was meditating over the energy was Stay by Tyrese. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Mr. Tyrese is a Capricorn, so some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn is someone who rides a Venus individual, or you yourself could have those strong placements. Um, and the song Stay is just like what the title is. He's telling this person, like, let's work it out. Let's stay. Let's let's. Let's try to give this a second chance. I feel like I'm definitely getting as far as a place of employment. Somehow this person may, I feel like your employer could just kind of see in your energy that you're tired. You're over it. Because in that first reading, you had the 10 of wands, carrying a heavy load, heavy burden. And you guys know in numerology, 10 talks about cycles ending, something wrapping up. So for you to carry a heavy burden, you're trying to wrap that cycle up. That's what your judgment call is going to be all about. Like, what am I going to do to get myself out of this situation where I feel like I'm just carrying the weight of the world or the weight of this company on my shoulders? A lot of you all feel like that. And then it's also as far as your relationship, some of you guys, again, I'm going to say could definitely be dealing with someone who has strong earth placements in their chart. And it just may feel like a burden. It may feel like you're just tired, you're overwhelmed, you're exhausted. You don't want to keep moving on with the situation or this relationship and it's not giving you what you know you need in order to be happy is what I'm getting here. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today. You know what I also got? And I did look it up, but I, I'm just going to put it out here and you guys can look up yourself because I always suggest that you do. I seen a black, what was it? It was like jet black, onyx black cricket. So go ahead and Google cricket spirit animal and see what message you get. See how that aligns with you and leave it in the comment section because you guys know I always read the comments. Also, you guys did have 888 as well. Okay, so look up angel number 888, look at the message and see how it relates to you also. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to make sure I didn't leave out anything. So far, I feel like that's, yeah, that's the most of it that I was getting 
with your message. That's why I, it was 28 minutes in, but I'm like, okay, maybe it's something else that I was meant to really give the most attention to. Also, it could be blockages because you guys did have the seven of wands in this deck. The seven of wands is blockages, guardedness, defensiveness. And for some of y'all, that message, the, the, the fact that that last message was blocked and it's not coming to you all, I feel like it's also saying like somebody's trying to block certain forward movement for you. But they're not going to be victorious. Or they did for a long time, but now they're not victorious. Something is going in your favor. The scales are tipping in your favor. And I'm definitely getting that, you know, with this message here. Okay? So I'm going to just toss these in here randomly. We're going to shuffle up right a couple times. And like I said, we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana. The sun and the moon. The card that comes before and the card that comes after for the collective. I also mentioned um, someone whose name is Harold. Kingston, something about Kingston, someone's last name could be Kingston or someone could stay in an area that has Kingston somewhere in the name. Also, someone with naturally wavy hair. I'm getting a major, like a major chop. Like somebody's, I'm talking about long, naturally long wavy hair. They're getting ready to do a big chop. That may be your judgment to, it's something about changing something about yourself for a lot of you all. Keep in mind, Libra, as we're in Libra season, Libra is ruled by the planet Venus, which is a planet of beauty love you know so some of you guys are changing up your beauty routines and things like that or you're getting a new haircut because you want to try to do something different you're just tired i'm just getting energy of people being tired of the same old same old or as i like to say the same old lame old i'm getting i'm, I'm getting that energy for sure okay so currently at the bottom of the deck you got the four of wands what did i say so the name of the song that i picked up was stay some of you guys could definitely be married to engaged to or reside with someone that you have a child or children with Okay, the four of wands talks about long term commitment, marriage, union. But I always say with this card, and this is a very positive card, but really look at the energy of these people's faces. She does not look happy, does she? Can y'all see that? She does not look happy at all. In fact, she looks quite woesome. He doesn't look quite happy either, but the child looks happy. So for some of you guys, you're staying in a situation for your child or children, but it's, it's in some way, it's not making you very happy. Now, as far as your place of employment, for some of y'all, and I, I'm sure this is for damn near everybody, right? You're staying at this place of employment to take care of your family, to provide for your family, but it's not making you happy because, again, look at their faces. They don't look happy at all. They don't. So that's the energy I'm getting as well. I feel like positive stuff is coming towards you. I always notice with this card, if you notice how in the middle you have that lavender and almost looks like it's getting ready to expand and reach them, that lavender energy, you know, lavender talks about abundance also. And lavender is typically a essential oil or herb that people use to relax and calm down. Some of you guys, because in the earlier reading, I did get a lot of like temper, like something about to explode because you had the Knight of Wands and behind the Knight of Wands, it was a volcano and the volcano was exploding. You guys also had the tower and the tower. This person has been thrust out of the tower and it was an explosion. So for some of you guys, something may finally hit the roof where you're like, I'm done. I'm over it. And you... I'm getting something with health. And I did mention, oh, wow, thank you. So it's all coming back to me now. I also got blood pressure. Some of you guys, your job or your relationship is affecting your health. And I got something with high blood pressure, like your numbers are very high. But I also did get that something is balancing it. Like you, you're finding a way to balance your blood pressure. I also got something with blood sugar. Like somebody's numbers have been really high with their glucose. I'm getting that somebody is changing a diet or there's some type of herbs because I'm definitely getting energy of herbal assistance but some of you all especially with your blood pressure you may be going to some natural remedies i'm not trying to tell you what to do okay i'm just disclaimer i'm just putting it out here that i am getting that some of you guys may go to something like lavender teas lavender you know some type of blend something that can help you stay calm because then that will help with your blood pressure i am definitely getting that also okay so let's part the deck so we can shuffle you got the ten of cups right next to the four of wands that's like happiness this is ultimate happiness here um, I'm going to tell you also what I did mention in the first wow. Okay. I'm just looking. Okay. 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 You got some good stuff here. So you got the star card, which fulfillment and healing Aquarius energy behind that. Well, it wasn't showing this one, but it did want to show the hair fine Taurus energy. The hair fine with the hair fine. That's a divine counterpart. Also, that is the high priestess spouse. So I'm definitely a strong energy of someone being married or engaged to someone. This is a long-term relationship for a lot of you all, possibly 10 plus years. Um, and then right behind it, you got the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is an energy of victory, success, attainment, achievement. You had a lot of fire in the first reading also. So this is just really mirroring this, but we didn't get these cards earlier. So I feel like this is the more important message that they want you all to have. There's definitely something involving your money and your finances. And you had a lot of eights. Remember I was saying those eights? 
You had a lot of eights. You had three eights. You had, so now you have the three, I'm sorry, the eight of wands. You had the eight of cups, the eight of pentacles. And that's why I was telling you, look up 888 and look at that message because I feel like it has to do with your abundance and your monetary lifestyle. I'm really getting that energy. And my nose is itching like crazy. And you guys know what I get with this. Now, typically, this is the energy of like Shirley and Barbara, right? They're sitting there talking, gossiping, or having some meetup about something that they have a mutual connection with. But I'm going to tell you right now, especially because my nose is like literally itching like crazy. And, you know, in those old wives' tales, it's like one of those things where they're saying like when your nose gets to itching, somebody in your business, somebody being nosy. Be careful who you talk to, especially in your place of employment. And I'm going to say what your relationship is also. Like, be careful who you talk to because it's like a listening ear is a running mouth. That's what I'm getting. Like, if you're talking to a coworker, like, girl, I've been applying for so-and-so job because I'm ready to go. I feel like it's going to get back to somebody at the place of employment that is like, a you know, someone who has a position of authority there. And then also, if you're talking like a girlfriend or one of your male friends or somebody about just talking about your relationship and the woes and things that you're going through, be mindful about what you say. Because keep in mind, as I'm doing this reading, we are currently in Mercury retrograde. Okay. Mercury retrograde denotes over the energy of technology, communication, you know, things like that. So be mindful. Because I'm going to say this again, a listening ear is a runny mouth. So you're going to say something to this person. They may go back and say something to someone else, like a mutual, not even with the intentions of being malicious. But I feel like it's going to get back to this person. I also did mention in that first reading as well, be mindful about closing all your tabs on your computer, um, logging completely out of your emails. Um, <laughs> and I did see something very specific. Like if you're at work and you're applying for different jobs at your actual job, please make sure you log out of that completely before you walk away from that desk. Okay? I'm going to say this again. Log out of that stuff before you walk away from that desk because I feel like somebody is going to see it and they're going to go back and run their mouth about it. I'm just being honest. That's what I'm getting here. And like I said, this same person, if you're talking to somebody and venting to somebody about your relationship, I feel like they're going back and saying something to someone else. First, middle, last initial could be X, C, M, N, Y, V. And I never get V with this V also I'm getting. Um, yeah. Okay. And I do feel like something could be coming up in Scorpio season because you did get Scorpio season and a lot of Sag season in your last reading also. I feel like for a lot of you all was getting ready to go down as far as like changes in employment or getting ready to actively start searching for new employment will definitely happen in Libra season. And then some of you guys are going to make a big decision about your relationship status in Libra season also, or before Libra season wraps up as, as well. Cause Libra season does wrap up in October and you got 10 here. So I definitely feel like that's getting ready to happen. Okay. So let's go ahead and shuffle. And then we're going to get the sun and the moon, the card that comes before and the card that comes after and clarifies for both. Okay. See, and I got, you kept, okay. So this is your third, character with a hood on in your first reading you had three three characters with hoods on i always tell you guys hoods face shields masks those are disguises so somebody is making plans because wands talks about action right somebody's making plans to make some type of movement again i'm gonna say you could be applying for jobs literally while you're at your place of employment or and, and also i'm getting somebody planning on how to get out of a relationship or just thinking about how they can afford to do. I'm getting something with money. Like somebody's like, can I afford to live and move on my own? I'm also getting, cause I'm, I keep seeing a lot of stuff about putting in applications, sending in resumes. Even if you have a job, some of you all, if you're leaving a situation, you may feel like I can't do this comfortably just working this one job. So you may be looking for a part-time also. Someone could be born in the year of the dog, the dragon, also the pig, dog, dragon, pig. Someone could be born in you or your love interest. Is what I'm getting also. Okay. Yep. And I said, I just said your love interest and at the bottom you got the love. But some of you guys may feel like you want to just ghost a person. Like you may just want to leave that situation and be done with it. I'm really getting that energy for sure. Yep. Don't know which direction to take. Two of wands at the bottom of the deck. Needing to choose a destination or direction to go in. Some of you guys are at a crossroads. Literally. Pun intended. Okay. You got the crossroads here. But here's the thing. He's not even on the path. He's in the grass. So some of you guys may feel just very confused about what to do especially when it comes to your money if you notice you got that rabbit right there that rabbit talks about um fertility and also abundance luck and abundance some of you guys are very mindful about that right now so you don't want to jump into something very quickly or jump out of something very quickly without establishing some type of comfort or some type of foundation bottom of the deck but i feel like a lot of y'all are ready to make that move three of wands okay looking towards the future waiting for your ships to sail now, I'm getting two messages with this. This ship could either sail, like, go in a different direction, which it looks like this ship is veering in a different direction. 
in other words, like was, as far as your relationship, you may be wanting to go in a different direction. And then also as far as your place of employment, I literally get that some of you guys are going to apply to three different positions and you're going to get the third. I'm just getting that because look how he has his hand on it. He actually has his hand on that third one. Some of you guys are actually going to get that um, job. Some of you guys could be starting a new job in the next three months also. And remember I was saying early on, I was getting Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys could be starting a new job in Sag season. You do have wands here. And Sag season is November, December. So some of you guys are definitely moving in a different direction. Yeah, because even with this ship, not just a romantic relationship, your relationship with this company could be coming to a close also. Okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck and get the sun and the moon. You got that lovers again. Okay, let me tell you something. You got the lovers. And then right behind us, you got the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is a single woman, single man. So some of you guys are definitely deciding to leave a relationship. Or by the end of September, because you do have Nine of Pentacles here, by the end of September, some of you guys may be um, moving away from this relationship. First, middle, last, initial. C-G-M-W-S-T-K-H, also L. Getting V again. You guys, I'm getting some strong V. Now, in Roman numerals, V is five also, right? So... Five in numerology talks about change. So uh, there's big changes coming in for a lot of you all. Now, I want to just say this really quick. I literally heard they know. Remember, I said this early on. They know you're fed up and they're afraid of losing you. But I also am hearing that somebody's going to try to work on themselves. For some of y'all, as far as a relationship, they do not want to lose you. And they're going to try to work on whatever it is that's bothering you. Um, oh, and I'm telling you, my nose is itching like crazy. I'm also getting that somebody snooping. Like your partner, your significant other could be going through your stuff. Because they could kind of sense or feel that something is off about you or you may be doing this to them because you could feel or sense that something is off. Like this person knows that you're not happy. So they may feel like you're stepping out or you may feel like they're stepping out. But I feel like what it is is that somebody's just tired. I feel like even if it's not a cheating scenario, because I'm not really getting cheated. I'm just getting like boredom or somebody keeps doing the same repetitive stuff that they said they're going to stop doing and they just not stop doing it. They just keep doing it. And somebody is literally going to be going from being in a relationship to single is what I'm getting for some of you all. But I feel like it would be what you want because you're clearly not happy in that current situation as it is. Not as it is. Okay, so you got the moon. Hmm. So right in front of the moon, you have the six of pentacles needing to balance something out. Again, I'm going to say with your finances, a lot of you all may feel like your finances are not as strong as you want them to be with the strength card. And look at what's right behind it. And there's other cards behind this, right? But look what wanted to show itself. The seven of swords, lying, cheating, manipulator, sneak, and conniver. I really get the energy that somebody is going to like try to find their way out of a relationship or a situation, but they want to make sure their finances are stable and they're strong. And I really get that, especially with this. If this is someone who's trying to balance those skills and you have money on it. There could be there's children involved here for a lot of you all. Regardless of the age, there's children involved here. I feel like someone may be trying to also, I'm just going to tell you what I'm getting here. Somebody may also be feeling like they don't want you to leave because they don't want to have to pay child support. Because that's going to hit them hard. That is going to hit them hard. They feel like they're going to be bound. You see how she has this lion on the chain? And you know, the lion is masculine energy. So it definitely could be a male figure who's trying to keep the situation intact because they know their pocket is going to take a heavy blow. And um, if you look at how it is on the table, you have the six of pentacles and you have the strength card going towards each other. So yeah, somebody's facing the reality that realistically, if there's a breakup, they're going to pay for it financially. It's, it's going to be a, a good hardship for them. There definitely could be some children that there's going to be child support money having to be distributed for. And then as far as your place of employment, again, some of you guys are like looking really hard because you feel like you want to be free. If you look at this line, he doesn't look like he's upset or he's worked up. He's just going with the flow. But we all know the lion is a, it's like, that's a wild animal. You can't tame a lion. Not realistically, not without sedatives and things like, you get what I'm saying? Like not without drugging a lion up and stuff like that. You know, you can't do that. So your place of employment could be the drug. If you get what I'm saying, like, you know how they say money is the root of all evil, which is not true, but I'm just putting it out there. You know how people say that? Like, people will do anything in order to pay for, pay their bills, be able to provide for themselves and things like that. So some of you all are very strong-willed individuals, but you've kind of been stuck in a place where it's all, I'm getting oppression. Like, you could feel oppressed in your place of employment because you have responsibilities, you know. Even if it's not the first scenario with, like, a breakup and money being lost because of a divorce or money being lost because of child support. It's just like you have mouths to feed. You have people to take care of. You see how they're reaching for those pentacles? You have people, you have obligations. You have things that you have to take care of. 
And that's what's really keeping you in a stronghold. Because again, you got strength here, stronghold. Like somebody feels like they're, they want to break free. A lion is never going to want to be in this, in this type of position. A lot of you have very strong personalities. And I'm going to tell you also, a lot of y'all have very strong abilities that can make you a lot of money. You have some very strong skill sets out here. This is Leo energy. So some of you guys have strong Leo in your chart. Some moon rising Venus. Also Mars because we're talking about your employment. Jupiter as well because, you know, your money. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. So again, definitely with your money. Some of you guys feel like you have been tamed. Like this place of employment is... It's something about it that's making you stay still. And I feel like it has to do with just, you know, overall your obligations and who wouldn't, you know, everyone wants to provide for themselves. That's what I'm getting there. But I don't feel like you're very happy about it because he looks like he's tired. He looks like he's worn out. And did I not mention that? Somebody, they know you're tired. I feel like, again, I'm just looking at this. This could be seen as them either trying to catch these pinnacles or tossing more. And I feel like, like I said, for some of you guys at work, you're barely doing the job that you have already keeping things balanced, but it's like they're tossing more work at you. You know, they're giving you more tasks to do, and I'm getting that also. So let's find a sun. A card that comes before and a card that comes after for the collective. Some of you guys are definitely in a standstill, and you want to move. You want to move around real quick. Making some plans here. Wow, okay. And the sun is down there at the very back of the deck. So right in front of the sun, you have the high priestess. And right behind that, you have the three of cups. And behind that, you got the nine of cups. Hmm. So high priestess, sun, and then the three of cups. A lot of you guys know what to do to make yourself happy, but you're just sticking in something because it's comfortable. Or it has been comfortable. I feel like the comfort is being rattled. That's It's being shook up. Because remember I said in the very beginning... That first reading that didn't get uploaded, you literally had the tower. And it's like, on the outside, you're looking like this. The Nine of Cups, like everything is okay, everything is cool. But look at this, rat, 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 rat bastard. That's always my rat bastard energy. The Nine of Cups is having everything that you want and some. You got one person, there's Nine of Cups. This also can equate to gluttony. But what I'm getting with this is like literally, and we are in the ninth month as I'm doing this reading. What I'm literally getting here right now is like somebody's putting up a front, like they're happy. But people are going to find out, and they, they know better. And as I say, they know better. You got the high priestess. She knows all, you know. She's very in tune. She's also an empath. And you got all this water energy here. Some of you guys could be water signs for sure. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio are also um, people that you're dealing with to have these placements. Again, I'm getting a strong energy connected to um, Scorpio season. I really feel like a lot of you all are going to make a decision. Something that you knew. Again, she knows what to do. She already has the playbook. She already knows what to do. A lot of you all know what direction you need to go in, but you've been staying, you know, comfortable. Comfortable, okay? I feel like with that tower that I got in the very first reading, again, it's going to be a shakeup. You're not going to be comfortable in the situation anymore. It's time for you to move and go to something else. Go to something new. I'm going to say again, if you've been applying for jobs, I feel like the third one that you apply for, you're going to get. So if you were just wondering whether or not you should do it, please go ahead and get to it because it looks like that's going to be the one. There's going to be three different jobs that some of you all are going to apply to and you're going to get it. You are definitely going to get the third one for sure. Could even again be in Scorpio season because like I said, you got the strong water here. You have Piscean energy here. Pisces and Virgo energy here with the high priestess. And that pre-show for you also had the hair font, right? And the hair font is the spouse to the high priestess. This is one of the divine couples in tarot. So I definitely feel like for some of you, okay, okay. For some of y'all, the sun, you guys know the sun illuminates and shines a light on the situation. For some of you guys, you may have found out, you may have sensed it, because that's what the high priestess is. She senses things before they actually play out. You may have sensed that there was some type of third party situation. And for some of you all, you are definitely finding that out. You are your person's first, middle, last initial could be J, B, C, O, U, M, H, W. I'm also getting K. Somebody is getting exposed here. I'm going to tell you that right now. And for some of you, are you already here? Yeah, because I'm definitely getting exposed. Because that rat, that rat bastard, rats can also be a snitch. You know, like in the gangster movies, they're like, that rat, that dirty little rat, this person is a snitch. Somebody, it could be a water sign because you got two right here by the sun. Both are water. And this is water. The rat could be a water sign. I'm going to tell you also, I'm going to say this again, even outside of love, as far as your place of work, because this could be work, right? That could be work also. As far as work, I'm going to say again, be careful who you talk to, because this person can go back and get to gossiping with other people, and it's going to get back to the wrong person. I'm definitely getting that as well, okay? 
So at the bottom of the deck, you had a King of Swords. Now, again, we are currently in um, Libra season. So look at this again. One, two, three. There's three butterflies. Look. Oh, my goodness. Look what wants to show itself. I just said we are currently in Libra season. You got Justice Major Arcana for Libra. I'm going to tell you right now. This sword is up. That sword is up. I'm telling you right now. Right now. A place of employment is going to call you. you. That third place that you apply to, they're going to call you in. You're going to get that job. Now, also, as far as workplace gossip because i'm definitely getting this this could be a bunch of chitter chattering hands here it's going to get back to somebody who is in a position of leadership and i feel like this person is going to want to communicate with you and talk to you i'm also getting that if you apply for a job within your current establishment like some type of transfer and you didn't talk to a manager or supervisor about it before you applied not as if you have to but i'm just saying if you didn't talk to them about it i feel like whoever is in charge of like that that screening process is going to forward or call your manager or somebody like that and tell your manager like hey did you know so and so applied for this and, and your manager or supervisor is going to want to talk to you and I think it's going to be the opposite of what you may assume it to be because if you look at him he looks kind of cold or, or detached or he also looks kind of like intimidating I think it's going to be the opposite I think just like what I was picking up with the song Stay this person is going to try to find some type of tactic to keep you at that in that position they may offer you more money or I'm also getting like whatever department you work in, they may tell this other place of employment or this other department like, oh, we can't keep this person right now until we fulfill this person's position. And because you keep, I'm getting this three energy, you got three of cups here and right over the head, there's three butterflies. And you even have three entities here at the bottom of this moon. Mm, yeah, this, this supervisor or manager or somebody like that could tell this person like, well, we can't until I hire someone else. I can't release this person because we need them or, you know, we'll suffer greatly from that. And they may hold you from transitioning into that other position. But I'm going to tell you right now, and this is just internal, if you're going somewhere internal, but I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to go ahead and move into a new position because the king is also someone who has a significant title. So this is a title change also is what I'm getting. Okay. So that's part and shuffle. Yep, you're going to get that new position. Told you in that first reading that did not upload, you had this also as a outcome at that. So you have the Ace of Wands. All Aces are brand new stars. I'm going to say again, for some of you guys, this is going to be in Sag season. We are currently in Libra season. So what is this? Um, I'm picking up technically for the reading October. So you have November, December, January. But if you want to count October, then yeah, October, November, December. Yeah, December. And December is again a Sag season. So November, December, Sagittarius. So for some of you guys in Sagittarius season, you'll be in a different position as far as your workplace if you're applying for other stuff. And also as far as your relationship, I'm going to say again, I feel like you're a partner, male or female. This person, they're going to hear you out. They hear what you're saying. This is a sword, but I'm seeing an antenna. Like their antennas is going up because they know that you're not happy. They know that there's stagnancy and I feel like they're going to want to change it. Possibly try to bring more passion into the relationship. This person is going to be more giving is what I'm getting also. Definitely a lot of passion. I always tell you guys, this looks like a, a penis head, right? So definitely more passion. That could be the area of stagnancy in the relationship also is what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and get your clarifier for the six of pentacles as well as the strength card for the moon. Yeah, some of you guys need to choose which direction you're going to go in, okay? Two of wands, choosing a path, a destination, direction. And then look at that. You have the Hermit in reverse, Virgo season, and we just left Virgo energy, okay? You have it in reverse. Someone is definitely unsure about what path or what direction to take. I'm going to tell you, as far as the relationship stuff, someone is definitely feeling like they don't have enough evidence, especially if it's involving, you possibly thinking there's a third party. Somebody feels as though they don't have enough evidence, they don't have enough proof, because the Hermit upright is someone who's seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. You have it in reverse. So this person, you or your person, okay, somebody feels like, they don't have enough evidence. But well, here's the thing. She has that book behind her. So it's, it's just like choosing not to look at it. Because again, you have these women with these masks on. So it's like hidden in plain sight. Because they're, they're not hiding at all. They just have the mask on. I am getting that also. But I feel like for some of you guys, you want to leave a situation. Possibly in Virgo season. Or it could apply to a Virgo individual. But I feel like you were waiting it out until you had proof of something. And I'm telling you guys, my nose is itching like crazy. I feel like somebody's in your business. I really do. Somebody is definitely in your business, being nosy as hell. Bottom of the deck. Again, are you kidding me? Are you guys looking at this? Again, let's see what's up under here. Five of Wands, arguments, conflicts, disagreements. I'm going to say again, you guys got people in your business. 
in your in your work life and in your private life. Be again, I'm gonna say be mindful, even if this is a friend that you have known for years and you're talking. I feel like this person may end up saying something to someone and it could get back to someone. Now, if it's not directly like you know your friend will never betray you, they will never go back and talk to your significant other or someone that's mutual to them. I'm gonna say again, make sure you are logging out of stuff, your phone, like Literally, if you have your phone up and you were looking at messages or you just sent the message to a friend and your phone is open, you go to the bathroom, you go to the kitchen and get something or whatever, I feel like somebody's going to see something. I'm getting that very strong and it can cause conflict, okay? So let's choose, we'll get your card rather for the Six of Pentacles. Clarify for the Six of Pentacles, connect this to the moon, okay? Well, it didn't flip out, so you guys know if it don't flip out, I'm not taking it. Clarify for the Six of Pentacles, connect it to the moon, Six of Pentacles connected to the moon. Okay. See, I'm telling you right now, there's too many people in your business. Five of Wands, conflict, arguments, disagreements. And five of numerology talks about changes. This also be a change that's challenging also. Right up under it, you got the six. It's interesting. You got the six of Pentacles here. You got the six of Swords. And then you got the eight of Wands, fast moving communication coming out of blue and unexpected. So I'm going to tell you right now, I definitely feel like somebody's gossiping. Okay. With this situation, especially with your love situation, I, I'm going to say again, I definitely feel like somebody's staying in a relationship for their child or for their children, but they're not very happy about it. Her head is down. She looks almost like she's ashamed. She's unhappy. And what I'm getting with this message, because see, if you notice here, there's three people in this card also. Because realistically, yes, you have this one person, but if you notice the direction of the hands, those are two different people. The hands don't go this way. So those are two different people. So be mindful about the information that you're giving people because it could be valuable because these are pinnacles. Pinnacles are value. And if you notice, again, there's a lot of people in these cards here. So it's like whatever you're saying, you could actually give somebody a heads up so they know how to move on you. I'm definitely, like I said, I'm definitely getting with your place of employment. Be mindful about who you're talking to about. Oh, I'm ready to leave. And oh, especially like, I feel like everybody's done it. Like you talk to a coworker and say, well, I want to go apply to so-and-so department. I feel like somehow somebody's going to say something that could be a bit of a blockage. Or it was in the past, but here's the thing. You got a five of wands reverse. So whatever it is, even if there was a blockage for the moment, it's going to be for the moment. You guys are going to move on. You guys are going to move on and go in a different direction is what I'm getting here. Bottom of the deck, you have a page of cups. Pages are messengers. I'm going to say again, be careful who you talk to. And I was definitely getting strong water. You got a lot of water here. And I'm, I'm, I'm definitely getting that somebody is definitely going to be all in their feelings. Because, you know, water is the emotions and feelings. Somebody's all in their feelings. With a place of employment, they may be talking too much and gossiping because they don't want to see you move up the ranks. They don't want to see you move on. And also, as far as the relationship, now it's like, Pages are young, right? You could be dealing with someone who emotionally, they're immature, emotionally immature, you know? But it's like, I feel like they're going to hear you this time around because they know that, they, they can sense that you're ready to move on for a lot of you all. Let's get a clarifier for the strength card. Okay, you seen it? You seen it here? Wow. And y'all know I like that for you. You see how they flipped out? That's why I said it does not matter if there was blockages in the past. It don't matter. The universe is clearing that path for you. Like I said earlier, I had the chariot. The chariot is a divine vehicle. It removes all obstacles on your path. Nothing is going to stop you from moving forward. Nothing. Because that's the universe. When you have major arcana, that is divine intervention. That's the universe. That's universal energy, right? So that is strength card. And then have the wheel of fortune. Things are going in your faded direction. For some of you guys, this moving could have already started. It was already um, triggered in Leo season. Because you do have strength. That's Leo. And then you have a line here also, Leo. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. And this is something faded and destined, okay? Every single one of these characters have a book. So it's already been written in stars. It's already been predestined for you to move on. And as I say, written in stars, look at that. Her eye has met one of the biggest stars out there. It's already been written in the stars for you guys to move on in your faded and desired direction. You have divine movement for you, for sure. For sure. Because if you look at right here, that's, that's like a compass, if you will. A compass gives you what direction. But if you notice who's holding the compass, the devil. And that's temptation. That's um, blockages. That's negativity. This is trying to keep you from excelling. Nothing's going to be able to stop you from moving forward. You are going to move forward. Because it's fate and destiny. It's preordained. It's already faded for you to move on. Now, for some of you all, also, as far as a relationship, you could be leaving a relationship that is involving a Capricorn because the devil's Capricorn. Leo. He has strong Leo resonance here. A Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. And the, and the fact that she, I was drawn to that eye, looking at that star also, that definitely resonates with um, Aquarius. So some of you guys, Aquarius energy as well. 
Either you or your person can have those character um, traits or astrological traits in your chart. Whatever the case, it just looks like things are getting ready to go in your favor. Whatever decision you are making, I'm telling you, it's going to go in your favor. If you decide to leave a relationship and somebody's trying to hold you back, that devil trying to hold you back from moving forward, it's not going to happen. It's not. They don't have control. You see what I'm saying? Because right is like conflict causing drama, causing conflict in reverse. It's like they're not going to be able to hold you back. It's not going to happen. The universe has already aligned your path for you. And that's just that. Bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles in reverse. Again, I'm going to say a lot of you all are not very happy or content with this workspace, with this work life. You may feel like you are losing. I'm hearing also that some of you guys, like where you work, you may be spending more money to get back and forth to work than you actually see. Like say, for instance, if you catch a, a bus route or a train, gas, I feel like a lot of you all feel like you don't feel like it's worth it. Because it's costing you so much money to get back and forth to work that it's not, it just doesn't even, it's not fulfilling for you anymore is what I'm getting. So let's get a clarify for the high priestess. Clarify for the high priestess connected to the sun. Okay. Nope. They flipped down. He had more than one. So I'm going to keep shuffling. High priestess. Let's get clarify for high priestess. I feel like a lot of you already know the message or what it is you need to do. Hmm. You all know what you need to do. Three of Pentacles, work life establishments, working and building together. I'm going to say again, did I not say that third job, for a lot of you all who are applying to jobs, that third job, you're going to get it. This is upright, and this, de this definitely talks about your money, your Pentacles. And if you see how it's like a contract here, this could be like being onboarded to a new job. Because this is your establishments. This is your work life, facilities. I feel like that third job, I'm going to say this again, that third job, you're going to get it. And then Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you're going to be leaving this other place. Yeah, some of you guys are going to be leaving a position that you feel like you could have been, you feel like you could have established something and been with them long term, okay? Because up is like an offer coming in, down is like, you know, losing or losing money or leaving a place that is connected to your finances. I'm definitely getting something strong with Cap, because now I'm here in Capricorn. There's something definitely really strong with Capricorn. Some of you guys could be leaving a place of employment in Capricorn season also. Because Capricorn does connect with the energy of December as well. It starts December, January. So some of you guys could be leaving a place of employment in Capricorn season. Yep. Wow. Okay. Confirmation. Some of you guys will be leaving a place of employment in Capricorn season. This is the Eight of Pentacles. That's your actual nine to five. That's your work life. Look at that. Pentacle is in reverse. It's dropped. So some of you guys are, and look, you have a pinnacle on the ground. Some of you guys are leaving. Yeah. Some of you guys are leaving a place of employment in Capricorn season. Mm-hmm. That's definitely what I'm getting here. Wow. And but it doesn't matter. Whatever this place is, the new place that you're gonna be working at, I feel like you're gonna it's gonna be more aligned with your desires or your needs for an employment, a place of employment. Wow. And it's also as far as your relationship, I'm gonna say this again. With the relationship stuff, I definitely feel like some of you guys already know what to do. And this person they can sense, right? Because Remember in the beginning, I said they know you're fed up. Like, they can sense it. She senses things. They can sense that you're fed up, and they're going to try to work things out. I'm also getting, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm getting that this person may even ask you to marry them. Because they know that they risk, there's a high risk of them losing you. If you're already married, some of you all could be saying, okay, either get right or we're going to get a divorce. Because you can see this two different ways. This could be somebody proceeding over some type of ceremony, either a divorce or a marriage. Because this could be divorce papers, or this could be marriage certificate. You get what I'm saying? Also, as far as the job, this, like I said, this could be onboarding paperwork. So I'm getting multiple messages there. You guys will know how to supply us. I'm telling you right now, I'm definitely getting like, this person knows. They know that you're not happy and they're going to try to find a way to keep you. And I was saying in the very beginning, like a game plan, this person knows they, they going to, they got to, they got to come with it or they're going to lose you. Or you may feel like that about your person. Bottom of the deck, you got the sun in reverse. I'm trying to tell you, they know they're going to lose you. The sun is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. Whenever the sun comes up a brand new day, starts as happiness, joy, contentment. In reverse, this is like, that's not, that's lack of happiness, lack of joy. So some of you guys are not very happy in this situation and you could definitely be asking for a divorce. Or this person knows that it can go in that direction. Your person can know it. If you're single, then of course, you know that wouldn't apply to you. But I'm just getting overall, your place of employment knows that you're not very happy. They can tell it in your energy. And then your person knows that you're not happy because they can tell it in your energy. Somebody knows. Also, I'm going to say again, with this three of cups, right? And look at it. It's right next to this sun. So you got that energy twice. Definitely could be involved with Leo. Got a lot of Leo stuff here. Um, I do feel like with this, some of you guys can find out that there was a third party. Because here's the thing. The opposite of the sun is the moon. 
And the moon talks about things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity about. When the sun goes down, the moon comes up. So again, for some of y'all, it could be an energy where literally you're finding out about some type of third party secrecies. Again, you could have found this out of Leo season or it could be involving someone who has strong Leo on their chart. I'm just, you know, I keep getting this because I'm looking at how this is going right across from here. And I'm just being allowed to show you this like this. Whatever, whatever the outcome, I feel like it's going to be something that you're going to be happy about. And I know people will say, well, if, if you leave your relationship, what is that to be happy about? I, I really, to be honest with you, I feel like this is something that you felt all along that you need to make a choice about. You just, you're here right now for confirmation. You may have felt a little bit of confusion because remember, you also have the two of wands, which is needed to choose a destination or direction to go in. So let's get a clarifier for the three of cups. Clarifier for, oh, see, again, I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Wow. So I'm going to say this again. I definitely feel as though, hmm. And I know I moved that there, but I'm just looking at the energy here. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, for a lot of you all, you're going to find out for sure. You're going to find out something that's not going to make you happy. Or you already did. Find out something that did not make you happy. Like I said, I was holding it there because I was looking at how that, that connected. But just in connect. Yep, I knew it. And as I'm holding this, look. So you got the sun in reverse. You got the three of cups. And then you have the will of fortune. This is actually fated and destined and fortunate that you find this out about some type of third party situation. It's going to be hurtful. It could be painful. But I definitely feel as though it, it's fate and destiny. It's already written in the stars for you to find this out. You're meant to find this out. You're meant to find this out because it's going to help you choose which direction to go in. <laughs> so the smoke is clear. You see how my little machine just went off and just cut off? The smoke is clear. And you guys are getting ready to find out the truth about stuff. If, if somebody was putting up a smoke screen, it's bullshit. It, they're, the clip, look here, the path is being cleared. You're finding some things out. And I knew it. I'm looking at these cards together, and I'm just looking at the alignment of them. For some of you guys, you found something out three weeks ago. For some of you guys, you can find out within the next three days to three weeks. And that's with relationship stuff. Now, not everyone is going to have this heavy stuff, and I don't wish that for anyone, but I'm just telling you something that you're going to find out about you may not be happy about. Because I'm, I'm also, like I said, with these books here, it's making me think about Texas and in emails and things like this some of you guys may be doing some snooping and see something in the text an email also even hearing a voicemail you guys may hear something and it's not going to make you happy at all and the fact that i keep looking at the sun i know sun is not spelled the way that this is like the actual child's son but i actually call my son my son because you know sun is masculine moon is feminine so i actually spell sun s-u-n but I, i'm saying this to say like even with this if you're dealing with someone and they have a son by someone else outside of you, the mother, they could still be dealing with that mother. I'm honestly, I'm really getting that. And they definitely had these initials in their name. J-B-C-O-U-M-H-K, also V. For some of y'all, this person has strong Gemini in the chart also, even though this is Piscean energy. I'm just looking at that Roman and two. It looks like the Gemini symbol. But I, I must say again with this, with that will of fortune, something's faded and destined. It, it, either way it goes, it's faded and destined for you to find something out. And it's also fate and destiny for you to move into this new place of employment, especially if you have been applying. Even if you're working, at, going towards a different department, the same, um, you know, place that you work at now, I feel like there's going to be some type of blockages like this person trying to keep you on because they don't want you to move on. They don't want to lose you. It doesn't matter. It's gonna go on your. It's gonna go in your favor. It's going to go in your favor. You're gonna be happy about it. As far as this relationship stuff, this person knows that you are unhappy. And I feel like you're gonna make the right decision for you with this situation. And I feel like it's, it's gonna come from something that you find out that's gonna be the final. You know, that's gonna be the final straw for you. Cause I, I feel like for a lot of you all, you're like, I don't have enough you know, proof. Like some of you all want proof, but it's like, you see how this is coming. It's like, this is her coming with the T. This is, this is the receipts. I'm coming with the proof. So you're going to have proof. And just as I said, that sounds 4411. So you may want to also look up angel 411 or 4411. Look at those numbers. Ones always talk about brand new starts, leadership. That force is definitely has to do with relationship stuff as well. Something with April also I'm hearing. You got two. In this bottom row, you have two cards with threes in it. 
I'm telling you something very significant. The next three days, three weeks, three three months. And I know that could be a very vague and open time frame, but you guys would get it, especially with the job stuff. And well, the relationship stuff too, because you will know whether or not you're going to be able to stay in that. And I definitely know it has to do with three, because look at that. You have four sunflowers here all together, but by the baby, there's three. So something in the next, I'm, I'm talking about very soon, three days to three weeks, very soon with the relationship stuff, you're going to be finding out about. And in the same row, you know, something is going to come to light with that sun. Something's going to come to the light. For some of you all, I'm going to say again, it already has. Whatever the case, everything is going to go in your favor. It may not go in a direction that you want it to go in. There could be some temptation, some negative stuff on that path. But guess what? You're, it's, it's going in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. It's going to go in your favor is what I'm getting here. Okay? So thank you so much, Collective, for watching Queen Airbender Tarot. As always, I want to ask you guys to continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.